Hello everybody and we're still on our Titans Returned Legends reviews. So this one we have the Legends release of Blur. Um, now again this is the Japanese variant. Why did we go for Japanese and not Titans Return? The European release and American release? Colour scheme. Um, and purely colour scheme with Blur. It's coloured in his classic G1 colours that you'll see in the cartoons and in the comics. And I have to say, it looks fantastic. I mean, I've, for me personally, I think this is pretty much the only decent version of Blur you can get. Now, I know the United release, um, going back a few years, is pretty good. It's not the same styling as the original Blur, um, but it's quite a good release. It's fairly stupidly expensive for what it is. Um, but it's, it is released, you can get it, and that's quite nice. You can get the Armada version of Blur, it's not too bad. Um, but if you want the original G1 Blur, so if you actually bought the G1 version of Blur, it suffers from that, well, it mainly suffers from the fact that I'm not, I'm not convinced it looks a lot like Blur, particularly when you transform it, it's just a bit poor design. Same way that the original release of Cyclonus. It looks great in play mode, but the robot mode is pretty terrible. Um, Blur suffers from that too. It's only now, here we are, you know, in the 2000, what was that, 2015, 2016 release, so some 20, no, not even 20, some 30 years after the original release of Blur, that a decent version's finally come out. And I think it looks great. The car is, you know, it's excellent. It's got that classic future retro styling that they had in the movie, and it really works. Um, it is on wheels, so it actually does move. But yeah, it looks fantastic. I'm really impressed with this, and that's that. This is often why I got it. You can attach the gun on this mode, but if you take the gun off as well, it still works too. Really impressed with it, and of course, it robot mode is just as good as well. So let's transform him. Take our little nebulon out. Um, of course, Blur was never a headmaster, so I. It's kind of a... He, he, he was a target master, interestingly enough, but he was never a headmaster, so the fact that he comes as a headmaster now is a newbie. To transform the head, you just go... Flip, flip, done. And there you go. Blur's head. We'll come more into that later. So let's transform your car. So first of all, we flip the cockpit close. Again, quite nice to even have a cockpit, to be honest. Um, now, this would appear to be Blur's head. Of course, it's a fake part, uh, which, of course, the original version didn't have, which I think is what mainly suffered with the original version. You can see how it works, you've got the chest here, you've got the legs here. So, we're just going to begin by taking the legs out. Just gently push these apart, like so. You can see how where the arms are going to be there. And then we just want to try to wiggle these free. I'm wondering if I perhaps should start with the arms, but I think I'll probably shall do just pull the arms out like that. That way you've got a little bit more to work with. Now this version of um, of Blur is actually one of those ones where the legs actually come apart like that. Same deal on this side. And then you flip it down like that. So each one has got these Titans Return Legends versions slightly different with the way they transform. Not a problem in many ways. It's, it's quite nice to see. I mean, they're not all done from the same mould for a change. Okay, so now we've got the feet like this. Uh, what you now need to do is flip the cockpit up like this. See the top of the seat here? That actually goes in there to produce the little Autobot symbol, and then this goes down, so it just gives a little bit more, more solidity to him. We, so as you can see, I flip this bit down, so it looks like that, you flip it down like that. There's a little hole there for the wheel to, to slot into, which is quite a nice touch. Arms, flip up like that. This, as you can see, it just gives that top bit the arms there. You've got the hands in there, so we just need to now flip this part up here and as you can see it just hinges up like so round like that same on this side and there are the hands one of the few where you don't have to flip the hands out they're already out okay so that's blur's body the head will now just slot in here and just to complete the effect remember the part that we rotated in here this will now just rise up so it's actually now on there. And we'll just give him his gun. There we are. Blur. A really good robot. 
um, a really good version of Blur too. The head, one of the few times that Blur's head is in proportion with the rest of him. Um, the original had a, a ridiculously sized head. Um, it looks fantastic. It really does feel like you're looking at the the robot version of the TV show. Um, the colour schemes are great. The actual structure of the robot is great. It's not too chunky. It's streamlined. Sure, you've got a little bit of kibble on the back, but you know what? That's not too bad at all. This would have been his shield uh, originally. So he doesn't ha have the shield that the G1 version did. But I think that's a small price to pay to have a robot that looks good. Height-wise, it compares very, very well with the universe release here of... Rodimus or Hot Rod. Um, the two go together very, very well indeed. I mean, perhaps Hot Rod's head's a little bit on the small side, but otherwise, you know, they actually do work together very, very well as a as a as a pairing. I'm really impressed with Blur. I think it's um, I think it's a very good release, um, particularly the Legends release, which gives you the the correct colour scheme, and it, you know, it, it's a proper a proper version of the toy finally. And it just looks good, you know, there's nothing on there that I would change. Nothing at all. Either mode looks fantastic. The car mode I'm particularly impressed with. But the robot mode is very, very convincing that you're actually looking at Blur. And not someone that's, you know, just might be, happens to be called Blur. Really works well. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please do click on any videos below and subscribe and I'll see you on the next review. Thank you. Goodbye.